On March 20 of 2021, I had received a message from my good old buddy Braylon sending me a Discord invite to a brand new default server. Little did I know <laughs> that this would be the start of a brand new voyage. Now, some of y'all might know me from my GTA 5 roleplay videos that I do, and some of y'all might know me from my Backstreet page that I got listed on the back of Craigslist selling my toes. Oh, wait. None of y'all know me. Uh, we just gonna pretend like I didn't say that. You cannot be for real. I own a server, a GTA 5 roleplay server to be exact, and I'm coming up on two years of owning one, and today, I wanna show y'all behind the scenes of what it's like to have a server. Did I ask? The money side to it, how much it costs to run a server, and the sales that we get from running it. Staffing, developing, community, hackers, all of it. So sit back, relax, hop in, and grab a snack. Um, let's see. Get you a Pop-Tart, all right, and a side of orange juice, and get you some fried toenails to go with that combo. <laughs> Now let's go ahead and start off with the costing to run a server. Now I actually pay for it monthly. Um, it is quite expensive, but it's not too expensive. It's around, mm, I wanna say like $220 a month just to run the server. However, this does not include any services, plugins, scripts, none of that is included. When running a GTA server, you have to make it feel unique and customized to its own feel. That includes clothing, custom buildings. I mean, look at this. We in, we're in LA, but we got Chicago hoods around us. I mean, you see the drip too. Every video, I got something new in the outfits. Now in 2021, when I first opened up my server, I actually spent $28,000 on scripts, clothing, cars, development services, literally 28,000 something around that. I'll put the exact number right here up on the screen. This was just 2021. Come around 2022, I actually didn't spend that much because I was kind of experienced with what to do. My first year opening up a GTA server, I bought a bunch of useless things it's that stupid. I ended up not even being able to use. Come around 2022, I only spent roughly $17,000. Now that's still not as much as 2021, but it's still quite a bit. I treat this thing like a business. And one thing people fail to realize about a business is that you're gonna go through ups and downs, trials and errors. If you don't put any risk or anything on the line for you to actually have some sort of value to your business, then chances are you're not gonna succeed. Now one thing that I would... Hey, remember me, it's mama. Why are you interrupting me? Matter of fact, why, why are you... Who is mama? You is not my mama. Matter of fact, let me see. You look like my abuelita. I, I know my mama does not look like that. Now, as I was saying, one thing that I would like to mention is that when I first opened up the server, it was completely free, meaning we, I did not make any money, like literally zero dollars. Actually, for the first year and two months, everything was free. It wasn't up until 2022, around February, where we actually opened up whitelist uh, applications and actually ended up having to cost you money. Tell me if I have the big C. What do you s I don't care about that shit. What are you saying, cornball? As I was saying, I really do treat this thing like a business. And to be honest with you, I failed within my first year. And to be honest, I feel like I'm still recovering from that. But you know what? At the end of the day, with each lesson in life, there's something that you can learn through it. There's literally a lot to learn throughout everything in life. And to be honest, I felt like this server itself has taught me so much it's taught me not to trust people it's taught me how to deal with people it's taught me how to set boundaries around myself i've had developers literally scam me out of thousands of dollars for work and to be honest with you that's partially my fault i've had staff members try to ruin everything and take everything whoa who's this crackhead ass driver and why is he sitting why are you sitting on nothing anyways as i was saying everything has a lesson behind it and you just have to pay close attention to it to learn it now listen y'all know me i don't really care about money I'm not a fiend for money. I don't care, to be honest. I've made a good amount of money in my life that it's just, it's whatever to me at this point. But I figured you guys want to see how much I've actually made from the server. And compared to how much I've spent, this is nothing. I'm not going to lie to you. So we made a total of $31,000 in gross volume. Now, after fees and services and all that, it actually ended up giving me $29,633. Now, I'm not actually supposed to show you all this because I ain't going to lie. I didn't follow this yet. Not yet for the IRS and taxes. Not yet, but I'm going to soon, but five hundred thousand dollars to the franchise tax board. I didn't even sit down. Two million dollars to the IRS. Oh. And forty-five thousand dollars a month for the penalties. You ain't even see my information. Don't need it. Also, thirty thousand dollars an hour in interest. Interest? I ain't interested in none of that. Did I ask? Pay up now. I got my tax write off. Fuck off.
that out of my face. $300 max deduction just by looking at the paperwork. Pathetic. Huh? Did you take payment plans? <laughs> yes. The plan is payment. Give us your money. We made $29,633. This is nothing. Literally nothing. I nearly spent that in the first year of opening this server. But to be honest with you, I'm really not down money at the end of the day because at the end of the day, I still use this server to record videos on. Without this server, I wouldn't be recording videos. So there goes that. And to be honest with you, this is also like a hobby and an entertainment for me. Um, sure you I'm take losing your money. Yo, today? shut your ass up. I'm talking. Talking about birth control. You about to be a baby daddy. I gotta go, but when I get home, be naked. <laughs> Somebody lying. When will the lies end? Anyways, we're going to leave it at that. That's the cost and how much I make and how much I've actually spent into the server. All right, so next up, I'm actually going to be interviewing uh, some certain staff members. There's a few developers in here as well. Uh, we're going to be interviewing people, uh, you know, to show you what it's like to be a part of a, a community, a GTA 5 roleplay community. Okay, there's uh, some staff members here. Let's go ahead and drag Presley in. Hey, Presley. Presley. Yo, pretzel. Somebody speaking right now? I'm Helen Keller in this bitch. Hey, yo, Bubba. You. Yeah. Hey, bro, I got a, what's it called? A little question for you. Yeah. So, uh, here at Maple Hearts, how you feel, like, um, how, how you feel about staff? Like, you feel like everything's good? Like, how you, how do you, how does it feel to be staff here? See, right now, it's like the best staff I've ever been, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, okay. All it's right. cool, yeah, I follow that. Bubba, how's your day going? Just chilling, feel me? You hit that crack pipe yet? Hell yeah, as soon as I woke up. Hey, yo, Gunna. Yo. Yeah. Hey, man, I got a question. So, in terms of, uh, you know, staffing around here, you know what I mean? Like, in the Maple Hearts community, how you feel? What does it feel like to be a staff member? Or, like, how does it feel to have, the, like, that power in a GTA server? Like, how you feel? I feel, I feel good, I don't know. I don't know, it's nothing, to me, it's nothing too crazy, you know what I mean? Not, it's not like I'm controlling people or nothing like that, it's just, you know what I mean? It's just, looking as a team, they just look up to somebody, pretty much, I guess, that's how I look at it. Hey, 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 how's your day going? Hmm? How's your day going? Oh, shit's all right, just got a fucking pounding headache. Yeah, I think you need to hit the crack pipe, it'll go away. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, yo, uh, Cameron. Yo, yo, cuz, how does it feel to be um staff? Like, how do you feel staff is? How do you feel Maple Hearts is? Like, what do you what, what, what's your opinion on this GTA server itself? That's good. I like it. I know you got more to say than that. No, I like. It. For instance, what do you admire about the server? Yeah, I don't even know what that word means. Hey, uh, Davin, you here? Mr. Developer, you here? Hi. Uh, hey, uh, I got a question for you. What's up, Z? Uh, so how you feel about the, what's it called, the server itself right now? It's okay. Hey, yo, Jaking. Mr. Developer. Yo, yo. Yo, yo, I got a question for you, my boy. What's the word? Hey, how you feel about the server itself right now? Like, staff, the server, the community, everything. How does it feel to be a developer, too? Uh, I fuck with the server. I fuck with the staff. Um, it's a little iffy on certain people's parts, mm -hmm. but you know, you know, it is like that with every other server. Towards the server, I feel like it's good right now as a base for people to have fun. Now, there's a lot that you gotta understand about owning a GTA server. It's not easy to gabbity gabbity do. You simply put it in and put it up. No, it's nothing like that. It's like any other business, to be honest. You're gonna deal with a lot of crappy people in life. You're gonna deal with a lot of people that waste your time. Scammers, people that have no intentions but ill. When I first launched Maple Hearts, I already knew that I was gonna struggle with it. But at the end of the day, I had one vision and one goal in mind, and that is to make ultimately a great role play experience and a great experience for anybody that wants to play. There's a lot that you have to deal with. A lot of people that break rules, for example, I was literally streaming last night with my homies and a dude was out here breaking rules. Guess what I did? I banned him like the man I am. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? What, what the f what? Hey, jump his ass. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> hey, jump his ass. We are live. <laughs> hey, jump his ass. Hey, we are live. Oh, shit. <laughs> hey, jump his ass. Oh, man. Let me put this live away. Let me put this live away. I got him. I got him. I got him. Yo, f*** his ass up. Hey, relax. That's me. Yo, what's wrong with his ass? Oh shit, my phone. <laughs> mm -hmm. Get some nigga, get some nigga, get some. <laughs> what, the what the fuck? I ain't gonna lie. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> Y'all good? You gonna follow me on this? Hey, who that crackhead is? Who that? What are you talking about? Bro. <laughs> Yo, Who's get his bitch ass off the block, bro. How many no times I? Like... No way he came That's back. Bro. Yeah. Yo, hey, hey, just ban him. Ban him. That nigga mad annoying, bro. Or two, ban him. Oh, bro. Ban him. I'm gonna do it when he come back. I don't know. Nigga said bitch. Hold on, y'all. This is how we do it down. Oh, yeah, I didn't even see. Says he wanna keep playing. He keep coming on the block, right? Hold on. Oh, we gonna show him. Hold on, y'all. Oh yeah, I didn't even see this. Where'd he go? Oh, we finna ban him. We finna ban his ass. Watch this. This is how we do it down here in Maple. You wanna keep? Hold on. Watch this. Where he at? He hiding somewhere. Oh, he right here. Oh, he think he's slick. Look at this. Oh, now he wants it. Look at him. This is how we do it for real. You hear me? What's up, man? How you doing? How does he know I'm here? What the fuck? <laughs> oh my god. Um. Ban. We'll give him a two day. Okay. So, be be honest with me. Is this even your vehicle? Yeah, that's my vehicle, bro. Look at it, dude. It doesn't come back to you, though. So, how is it bro, your car? And it doesn't come you, back to anybody. What do you mean it doesn't come back to me, dude? I uh, hand you the paperwork. It's down, it definitely says Chad McChaster right there on the paperwork, dude. I mean, like. Okay, well, hold on. I'm gonna need you to step out the vehicle, please. Uh, you're not gonna get arrested. I just wanna show I you. Step, I can step out, bro. It's fine with me. I don't got nothing to Come over here, bro. <laughs> You'd love to see it. To be honest, I would really love to sit down and talk about this whole entire GTA 5M roleplay server type thing forever i could go on forever i ain't gonna lie to you i could sit here all day but i feel like i should wrap this up here to be honest that little authentication right there with the cop getting pulled over i ain't gonna lie i guarantee you both of them are having a good time and to be real with you one of the main reasons i really started this whole entire server is because i want to see people genuinely having a good time my server right now is actually public to the open anybody could come and play you don't need a pay you don't need a whitelist none of that uh, we actually do have a public server open right now, and we also do have a whitelisted server that's not open yet, but it's coming soon. We actually just closed down the whitelisted server because we're going under maintenance and we're actually about to gear up for a whole new launch. But we do have a public server that everyone is allowed to play. There's no pay. There's no nothing. It's free for everybody. There is obviously a donator store where you can, you know, come by, buy um, cars of your own, one of ones and all that. Hey, whoop -de -whoop. That's, that's a whole different story. Am I plugging my server? Low key. Maybe. I don't know. Check it out. There's so much that I can sit here and talk with y'all though, for real, bro. Um, but I think I'm gonna cut this one short. I think I covered a lot about it. I think I covered the downs and the ups about it. At least I hope I did. And with that being said, hey, that's going to wrap it up. I love y'all. Take care of yourselves. And I'll actually see y'all tonight um, on Twitch. I'm going to be streaming the server on Twitch. And I'll also see you guys tonight on the second channel as well with the double upload. With that being said, I love y'all. Let me wave my goodbyes. I love y'all. Take care. And I'll see y'all tonight. Goodbye. And now, folks, it's time to say good night. We sincerely appreciate your patronage and hope we've succeeded in bringing you an enjoyable evening of entertainment. Please drive home carefully and come back again soon. Good night.